right, good evening. Uh, we're here as uh, the monthly meeting of the Beaver Creek Township uh, Board of Zoning Appeals. And uh, we have one case to hear tonight. And uh, what there's a procedure we go through uh, in running the case and listening to it and, and talking about it. What we'd like to do is when the when we actually open the session, you know, do roll call and uh, have the minutes, or excuse me, the staff report read, we would then want whoever's testifying for the case to come up to the podium and read the little uh, citation that's there, putting your name and address into it, because this is all recorded and this is a public record. Okay, and uh, I guess we should take, uh, who's here? <laughs> here. Yes. Yes. Here. Here. Fantastic. If you're ready, I'll go ahead and read the uh, public Please. hearing notes. Uh, okay. So the purpose of this hearing is so that the Board of Revenue Appeals may review and act on the various requests made by property owners Matthew Now, Now, and Joe Sorrell. Um, the nature of the request is to seek a variance from the requirement that the combined allowable maximum cost which our assessor's trustee on a lot shall not exceed the maximum Additionally, the applicant is seeking a variance from the maximum allowable height of assessor's trustee. The applicant is seeking a variance from the requirements of Article 18.05, subsection 4 and 5. The applicants, Matthew Nall and Joe Snyder, are seeking a variance from uh, that height and size requirement. Um, they are attempting to build, as far as I can tell, a, a unique structure within the township. Um, it's, it will have its traditional functions as a building, which in this case would be an accessory structure as there's no permitted second residence on any given lot. And then they want to put solar panels along the sloped roof of this structure to generate solar power. Um, the parcel on which the proposed structure will sit is zoned A1 agricultural, and the proposed structure is 2,000 square feet in size and 33 feet in height. The applicant's request, like I said, is unique in the township as far as we can tell. I'm not aware of any other building with this kind of configuration. Uh, it does speak to the growing trend of personal solar arrays as a way for residents to offset their electricity demands. Uh, you see some people do solar panels on their existing roof. Some people have taken to putting small solar poles with photovoltaic you know, cells on the top. Um, the only true concern that staff has identified is the overall height of the structure. They um, have a solar array, it does need to be that tall to rise above the surrounding tree cover in order to make five reach the cells. Um, one mitigating factor to take into account, we can show you on the top row that um, the proposed location, as far as I can tell, is about six feet below the grade of the road. So from the low to the structure would appear to be roughly 27 feet tall, right? If you've got a six foot dip at the base, um, that does not shrink the actual size of the structure, but it's something to consider if uh, visibility from the road is, is something worth considering. Um, the township actually doesn't have specific language related to solar arrays as an accessory structure. There are, um, there is a section in the resolution that deals with solar, but its primary purpose is to say that you cannot block solar access from another residence. Mm -hmm. so you can't build in such a way as to limit their solar access. Mm -hmm. um, regional planning has recently put together sample language for <coughs> us. We're looking at putting that into the resolution. However, it's not a major change. Um, so the township has to treat this structure like any other accessory structure that would be proposed. Um, we can't single it out because it's solar, and we can't get it you know, we can't either way, exceptions or negative um, connotations for it being solar array. So 
consider it as a large shed, or I guess in this case I would probably call it more of like a man cave or, or you know whatever you want to call it. It's it's definitely designed to be able to be, if not inhabited, then used uh, on the inside as a space to perform activities of some kind. There's no question that underneath there isn't just you know three thousand square feet of that. So staff has. We had a difficult time developing a recommendation for this case. On one hand, uh, the accessory structure is very large and tall. I mean, if you look at the size of the house, it's over 50% as far as I can tell, the size of the house in terms of its, its base. Um, but staff, you know, we support the goal of generating renewable resources. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to encourage that use. But um, again, the size of the structure is at least something we need to discuss, I think. So staff is, at this time, leaning towards recommending approval. But we are requesting a close examination by this board. And we're hopeful that, through discussion, that some appropriate conditions could be developed um, to ensure that the applicant can indeed generate solar electricity on their property, but also that it is the minimum barrier to the park. So that's something we need to keep in mind when we're making these decisions, that one tenant that we have to hold is, is this the minimum variance required mm -hmm. um, possible to achieve what the applicant wants. So um, like I said, I'm hoping for a robust discussion from the board tonight. I think this is the first time I've come to you and said, I'm kind of waffling. It's hard to make a real decision on this one in terms of staff, but I do lean towards approving it. Um, so that is my staff report, and I'd be glad to answer any questions that I can at this time. Can you bring up uh, the uh, plan, the topo map? So. This is the topo map. That I'm so. But it's roughly, uh, let's say it's a, this is about 900 feet or 900. Uh, it's 890 the, by the contour lines there. It says 896, so that would be uh, 898 beside the road. 898 and 900? Yeah. yeah. Or, or 900 right here. Right? Yeah. Okay. So let's say the road, for the sake of argument, is, is at 900. Yep. Um, the structure is actually at 892. So when I was putting this together, I was going with, I believe, um, 898. Uh-huh. This line here. I uh -huh. see 902 up there. I got 902 at this line here. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's fine. So somewhere between 898 and 902. Yeah. And down here where um, we've got you know, this contour line, far as I can tell. 892? Yeah, yeah this will be the lowest like. point as far as I'm aware. Okay. Um, so you're talking about an eight foot drop. An eight foot, six foot, eight foot, ten foot drop, whatever you want to call it. Right. Okay. A drop from the street. Okay. Okay. Real good. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. And uh, let's go ahead and pull this up for now to give you an idea. I think you saw on the packet, but this is the rough design of the structure. I don't know, uh, maybe the applicant can answer this, if the pool is it's part of the plan. I didn't think so. It's it's not in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's just the building. Does it have that um, walkway coming off of it as well? That second floor, um, whatever you want to call it, deck along the second floor? Well, I was just trying to get a second floor of that pool yeah. along with the street as well. I assume it's on. Yeah. Will you be speaking for the case? Um, he's the designer and contractor. I'm just the homeowner. He's done most of the legwork. I'm just along for the ride. Okay. Would, would you like to uh, lay out this whole thing to us uh, up at the podium? <coughs> sure. And uh, before you begin, there's a short oath that is up there. You just say that right. before you start. Right. So this is. I, Brett Hendricks. 
Anderson, yeah. 335 West David Street in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Solemnly swear that the statements I'm about to make before the Beaver Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals are the truth to the best of my knowledge and belief. Thank you. So, um, so what this uh, drawing here doesn't show is that on the, the north side, uh, the south side is the lower side, the north side is the, uh, the, the rear high side. There's a, a row of, of trees that will be, um, you know, that are like 40, 50 feet tall, uh, tall as well in between the, the road and the, the building. So I think that would, I think it would be pretty uh, inconspicuous um, altogether from the road, uh, given the, the elevation drop and the tree cover. Um, and you know, part of the, the design is uh, basically to elevate the solar panels as, as high as possible to prevent having to take down the mature trees that are uh, you know, to the south of the structure on the low side. Uh, and this array will be providing power for both. It's a duplex um, you know, unit, so it's uh, Matt's on one side with his uh, wife and then his sister is in the other si on the other side, and they're both all electric units, so they you know consume quite a bit of power relative to a home homes that you know have gas heat or you know gas hot water. Just to be clear, you're talking about this structure and yeah. the duplex, right? Yeah, okay. and it's just, it's split kind of down right down the middle. Gotcha. <coughs> so yeah, I mean, I, they they invited me out, um, asked me to. You know, give them a proposal for for solar for for that um, you know for that application to supply power for both units. And I looked at their roof on their house, and and it wasn't adequate. Uh, you know, from a shading perspective, and then also just from a size perspective, didn't have the footprint necessary. Uh, I so was talking with them, you know, further, and they mentioned that they, you know, in the future planned on building, you know, a, a storage barn to replace the barn that used to be there that was torn down, you know, by a tornado. Mm -hmm. uh, so they bought the property with that, you know, vision. And so after hearing that, I thought, you know, the two projects, you know, would, would be pretty symbiotic to, to combine together. So I went to the drawing board and kind of came up with this concept. And, um, and, and they, you know, they liked the, you know, the fact that, you know, um, you know, that it, you know, was, was functional from, from uh, you know, in multiple ways, so um, you know, we we met with a structural engineer, and, and he's put together a, uh, you know, the drawings to to build this. Uh, it has you know some some unique uh, considerations uh, that were a challenge for him to overcome, given you know the height and the wind shear, uh, you know, from the north side. Uh, so you know, we've invested a lot of energy, you know, into making this possible at this point. I, I wasn't even aware that, you know, of the zoning you know, limitation prior to this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, otherwise, I probably would have done this first before uh, you know, some of that late work. But I just, just from the environment when I was there, it just felt like it wouldn't be something that would be uh, obtrusive to anybody, which is kind of why I took the liberty to design it the way I did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, it will supply 100% Would, would this be with storage, or you have like a grid tie? It'll be grid tied, so okay. it'll be net metered. Uh, they'll have an interconnect agreement with, uh, with ADS. Mm -hmm. And it'll actually, it's actually gonna have two interconnect agreements um, because there's two meters you know, on the property. So we'll connect half of it to Matt's uh, unit and meter, and the other half to his sister Michelle. Yeah, when, when it's exporting, when it's producing more than they need, it'll be exporting back to the grid, and they'll be getting credit, you mm -hmm. know, for that energy. And then when they need that energy at night, so they're virtually using the grid as their their battery. And their storage, yeah. And that's you know, there's state laws that you know allow for that. Sure. Oh that's yeah. That's pretty much what's made solar, you know, possible. Uh, and I've been doing solar for 11 years now, and uh, and it's it, solar is really starting to kind of reach a critical mass at this point, which is exciting. And uh, and I do a lot of these custom type structures. I like to, you know, instead of just doing like a typical ground mount, 
where you have to mow down to, you know, for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And I like to, you know, get more functionality out of the footprint, you know, than just uh, solar energy if possible. So I've done anything from like horse barns, horse shelters, uh, pergolas, uh, you know, other structures like this. This would be the probably the biggest one that I've done, you know, so far. But really, the size of the structure is determined by how much energy they need and uh, and what what shade is you know kind of uh, we're having to contend with. And if, if the trees, if they want to take the trees down or they don't, uh, I've had some customers that you know were buying and wanted the trees down anyway. Yeah. What, what, what is the rating on this? How, how many? Uh, 36 kilowatts. 36? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what's the uh, the building? You said it w wants to be an outbuilding or a, an accessory building in an agricultural area. Is that correct? It's in an agricultural area, yeah. There's um, a, a neighboring uh, property that has a barn. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a comparable size barn in terms of square okay. footage. I'm would, would, would that building have uh, uh, water, sewer? Uh, not, not initially, not in these plans. The first phase, I mean, as far as what we're putting up, would just be a, it's just going to be a shell. Uh, you know, so they, they have plans later to, okay, the first phase isn't going to have the windows or the skylights or, uh, you know, but we'll probably put in the post for the, for the deck. Uh -huh. you know, when we have the, the bobcat out there digging out a hole. Okay. There is water run to that concrete pad already. Oh. Water lines going oh, okay. Already yeah, there actually is electric. water. Yeah. Electricity run to it. Okay. Previous By the previous barn, barn yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. And, and that, that is that the cement pad that's there or? Yes, the okay. cement pad is already existing. That's one of the reasons we're going with this is the pre-existing concrete pad. Okay. In the thirty feet, you've done your uh, your angles, uh, uh, making analysis. sure that those uh, yeah the shading analysis for the the trees that are in front of it, and that that's more than enough to to. That's that's enough. That it's not, I wouldn't say more. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty much right on. I mean, they're mature trees, so they're not going to be growing uh, anymore. And you know, part of the reason you know they're up on the higher on the roof is, you know, just to create that, you know, that height that's needed. And that angle, that pitch is, you know, part of the equation as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, for a fixed mount system, you want to be about plus or minus 15 degrees from your latitude. Yep. Um, and, and that's uh, right around 25 degrees, and we're at a 39, uh, 40 degree latitude, so. Um, mm-hmm. Very good. And it, and we're still deliberating on the roof construction, uh, uh, whether we're going to go with the free span truss <coughs> or put in interior columns. But the, the free span truss, um, you know, it, it's about four. If, it, if we go with wood, it's going to be about four foot deep. Uh, and, and, or, and if we go with metal, you can get to about 32 inches. Right. <coughs> right. So. Uh, how are you going to get this past the building department? Be, uh, well, they, with, they, with your variance, hopefully. Uh, no, but no, no. I, have a, I have a professional engineer okay. <laughs> who stamped the drawings already. Okay, so this, this will be pre-designed and it will be approved by the building department and they'll be doing all their inspections. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They'll have electrical inspections, uh, building inspections. Snow loads, oh, so yeah. wind the, loads. My engineer's already designed it for the snow loads, the wind shear, 150 mile an hour winds, um, you know, 20 pounds of snow load plus the three pounds per square foot that the solar adds. Uh, yeah, I've been working with a structural engineer for the past eight years, and every solar project we do, it, it requires a, a structural engineer to, to stamp it and verify that the roof or the structure or whatever it's going on can support the weight because that is part of the safety for the electrical. Uh -huh. uh, what uh, 
with the type of panels that you're going to be putting in, what type of uh, life cycle cost are you dealing with? Is this going to be uh, paid for within a 20-year period of time? Oh, for sure. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably pay itself off in, uh, I would say, around 11, 11 years. Okay. But it's a, it'll last its useful life is about 30, right. 40 years. They're warranties for 25 years. Right. Okay. Are we all answer, asking questions now or what? Well, uh, he is the main speaker to, to, to describe this. Yeah. So this is the question and answer time? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, what amount of electricity is needed to generate to satisfy two houses? Well, 36 sure. kW is a whole bunch. 36 kW? Yes, it is. It sure is, yeah. It's a lot more than is needed for two residences. Well, you agree? If you look at their energy consumption, if you look at their bills, they're they're on electric heat. And the I mean, energy consumption varies from you know, some houses use 3,000 kilowatt hours, some houses use 30,000 kilowatt hours. I understand that. What's to what's the what's the norm? You have some type of way of figuring what an all-electric house requires for electricity. Well, I, I go off of their bills and I look at you know what their what their. Okay, so 36 kW. What I'm getting at is, well, 36 kW can you can you supply the power to two houses with a heck of a lot less solar panels than that? Well, it's also going to be supplying for the pool, you know, the, the pool heater as well. You know, there, the there pool. Three, the pool. You having to have a pool? Well, that's what that drawing is there so that's not part of this application right now I, I could be wrong but that's a project for later down the road is that correct yeah but see here here's here's an issue that I a yeah, concern I should say let, let me answer that question if you would please what I'm getting at is why do we need to put in a solar array that'll light half the neighborhood it's not gonna light half the neighborhood sir you're not supposed to come in here for a variance to profit on what you're wanting to get a variance for. And you're going to be selling back a whole bunch of electricity that's generated back to AES. Well, the, the plan is for them to, you know, they're going to have electricity out this structure as well. So they're going to be using electricity for the pool. You know, they're going to have, you know, a pool house area. You know, they're going to, you know, this is going to be using more electricity as well so this is like a third you know kind of you know structure that's going to be adding to their you know existing consumption i mean if you want to if you if you want me to send you their utility bills i can show you the calculations on how i came up with it i mean i i, I just put a proposal together for a 24 so, kilowatt system for a single family home so you sir did you hear that I just yes i did it, okay a single family home needs 24 kilowatts Okay, so you're you, telling me that but you haven't you haven't you haven't answered my question. In what formula do you use to come up with them needing 36 kilowatts of electricity so the generation is ability? You add up their total electric consumption. Okay. Okay. So if they're use, if they're going to end up needing 40,000 kilowatt hours, right? Then you divide that by a factor of 1.25. Okay. If it's in good, you know, no shade and peace okay. out. Okay. And that's what you come up with. So you come up with them needing 36 kW? That's what I came up with. Yeah. So you're yeah. saying, you're, you're saying with what they have there, they're not going to, on the worst case scenario of days, uh, they're not selling anything back to. Well, part of what the net metering is for is with solar, you know, in order to have the energy that you need at night and in the winter, when you're not producing as much, you're only producing half as much in the winter, you have to overproduce in your summer months to they are going to be net exporting in the summer months to account for the you know energy okay. that they need in the winter months okay and i'm also i'm also curious as to why we talk about this billion be soup being very very tall and the biggest concern aesthetically is the view of the front that you'll see from the street and we, for some reason, don't have a view of 
what that 30 foot t foot tall 33 foot tall side of a building is possibly going to look like from the street is that was there a reason why we didn't get a picture of the most important part of the side of the building I don't care what it looks like from the house I don't care what it looks like from the backyard where nobody can see it but I sure like to see the front where it's 33 feet in height you're going to see a lot of trees uh, I'll, I'll tell you that much but it's going to the, the, just the, the, the way the siding you don't have a drawing of the front of, the, of it yeah I, I've got a whole 3D rendering of it yeah why, why, why the, the, the maybe this is the max didn't ask, for, didn't ask for a rendering of anything I, I just included this like I, I did, it didn't it's even a, ask for a rendering alright so but I feel like you're, you're kind of personal about this you, I feel like you're angry at me <laughs> I mean, are you angry at me? What? Why do you think that? I don't know. I'm asking you some questions. It's, it's coming off like it's like this is a personal issue for you or something. So I, <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm taking it wrong. If, you, if you're taking like it, here. If, if you're Please. taking it wrong from you're going to have to answer a whole lot of. You're accusing me of. Um, there, no, 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 no. There's no, 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 there's no acquisition. No, well, no. You said I didn't design this. No, no, no. I, mean, I no, never said no, that. No, 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 no. I never said that. I, I, I never said that you didn't design it correctly. I, I said, how did you come up with them needing 36 kW? No, you said that why do we need to put this in to light, to light up half the block? And I'm not, I didn't design it to light up half the block. Okay. I designed it to provide their needs. That's exactly what you said. Did I say anything after that? No. I just said, how did you come up with need, them needing 36 kW? And needing all of those solar panels. That's the only thing I asked you. Why do you think I'm personally attacking you? No, no. Let me let me explain something here. The if you look at the eight criteria for the variances, the request of the variance has to be the minimal that you need to accomplish what you're doing on your property itself. His line of questioning at this point was that is a lot of solar panels, and it is. And he, I think he's trying to figure out, is, is it really, that is the minimum that you need for that. Yeah. So that's why the questioning is the way it is. It's not a personal affrontation, okay? It's not. I got a whole lot of other questions too, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Hope you> got <laughs> so let me answer your question about why a different rendering wasn't provided. Um, the applicant is correct. information if you so chose however it's not required um, in my estimation it wasn't something I asked him for for that exact reason that he gave to be honest with you if you look at the map here you'll see that from the road there will be plenty of tree cover it's not going to be very visible from the road so I did not request max it'll be very visible in the winter time okay the reason why I know that he does not have to submit plans complete set of plans at this at this point but the major concern for the zoning for you the zoning commissioner zoning whatever your title is your main concern on this building you stated was how it looks from the street um, is one of the concerns and that it's very very tall but you think that you don't think that'll be an issue because it sits down in a hole of about, uh, you said six feet in your report, and they say 12 feet. Six or 12. Right. Huh? It's not gonna make image of the I, I understand that. No, but, I, I'm agreeing with but you. I'm, I'm just saying, that was my reason for bringing up, why don't we have anything that shows the side of the building that's the most concern for you guys, and for me at least. I can't tell you what the buildings to look like. I can't dictate to you what the buildings to look like you can make it hot pink if you want but it'd be nice to see what it's going to look like the slide that everybody's going to see worst case scenario in the middle of winter okay it'll just have that same siding and they're going to have a garage door or a you know kind of a, a double garage door so that they can pull their tractor and, and store their car um, that'll be on the far just that that's those that staircase on the on the east corner that goes up to the second uh, to, the, to the deck okay it also was stated at the 
house was going to be in front of the barn. It is not. It is. It's, it's off to the side. Okay. I, I just questioned that. I, I remember whose report that was in, but I don't call the barn behind the house. It's beside it. You can see it. So it's not just just for I record. I, if I wrote that, I was just implying that the house was in the front. Okay. The existing pad, just just so you guys know, for the record, um, I drove by it 150,000 times, uh, is not a pad that's left over from being blown over by a tornado. Okay? The poles were up. Mr. Mendenhall can, that is you, Dan, right? Can attest to this. They had the poles up. They had the floor poured. They had the band board around the top of the poles. They had the trusses laying in the yard. They proceeded to return to Mother Earth. When the house was put up for sale about two or three buyers ago, they busted all the posts off. Yes. So that was not that's not left over from a tornado. <laughs> anyway, I mean that doesn't change a thing. I just thought for curiosity's sake, you might like to know that. You probably when you get to digging around where those posts used to be, you're going to find a wooden post that's been broke off. Interesting. If you go on Google Earth, you can see the trusses laying on the ground. Yep. Wondered why that was the case. Right. You're like this. You're like the second or third owner right. since those were all broke off. Because right. I always went by thinking, man, why? When am I going to finish that building? Right. So anyway, just that, this, that's just for a yeah, FYI. Um, let's see what else I have questions. Are you adding on to the concrete pad at all, or is that an existing pad is 50 by 60? Yeah, the, the, we're not adding on to the concrete pad. The, 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 the additional concrete is just the border for the pool. Okay. If they, when they put the pool in, they'll put the, the walkway around it. But okay. the, the building actually does, I guess the deck overhangs the, 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 the existing concrete. Okay. Pad. So the building itself isn't actually 60 feet wide. So how's the footer going to be? Is the building is the building sixty feet, or is it and then the, and then the overhang? Sixty. No, the the building stops about forty five or you know forty six okay. feet, and then there's the existing. You know, okay. Deck. All right. Um, the footers are going to be um, the way the engineer has designed it. He initially had us cutting out, um, you know, into the concrete pad, but we're going to dig uh, with an auger on the perimeter of the concrete pad. So actually. I guess my question is one or two things. You either have to cut in into the existing pad. Yeah. To if if the pad's footprint is the fifty by sixty as what you indicated. Right. So if you're going to put a building there, you either have to put the footers on the outside of that pad, right. or you have to cut into the pad. Well, I didn't if you go to the outside, then the dimensions of the building is bigger than yeah. than what you're I stating. Understand. And, I, and the way the engineer designed it, and the drawings that I submitted, the engineer had us cutting into the, the okay. concrete pad. All right, and that's critical because you're already asking for a huge building. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to give you an extra two foot all the way around because you have now had to put the footers in. Oh, so that you would want that as a condition? Uh, I, the, I would personally. Yeah. Okay. The the other question I had for you, real quick. Um, is there, a, there's a lot of trees behind this uh, building that go clear back to your property line and then continue south. Is there, is there any compelling reason why you couldn't cut a few down and, and lower the, lower the height of the building or use the roof of the house, which is up out of the ground, up out of the hole? I would say the house is deeper. Than the pad? Yeah. No, I'm yeah. talking about the second, yeah, the, 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 the street level part of the house. The upstairs, I would call it, yeah, is a lot higher up than the. Oh, I, I guess that's what you're saying. I thought we were comparing the two roof tops, um, or I, or just the no. Ground, what, the ground level. what I'm saying is the house. I can't tell there, but there's a minimal amount of trees to be removed behind the house. That you could use that huge area there for solar panels. Space. 
that, that, that that's at least a 512 pitch, isn't it? it I'm sure it, it has. It, it's an acceptable pitch. Um, you know, it's just the you know the, the trees are right up on it, and they want to keep those trees, and there's not the same amount of space. Can I say something there? Um, so we have had tornadoes come through. <laughs> no, you you have to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Nall, tell me square the statements I wrote to make before the uh, three township boards in Trioli. Oh, sorry, my head just. Hi, Matthew Nall, uh, 1327 in um, Bugler Road. Tell me square the, state, the statements I'm about to make before the three township board of zoning appeals. I've agreed to the best of my knowledge and belief. The main reason um, we, we didn't want to take trees down is we've had tornadoes come through there and we've lost a lot of our mature trees and the tops of our mature trees. and that last stand on that right-hand side of the house is one of the few solid stands of mature trees that we have left. And so if we take those down, we're losing, we like being in the woods, we wanna stay in the woods, and there's not much wooded area around there. And so we were hoping to keep as many of those large um, mature trees there as possible. Well, your house sits very close to the road, right? right? Yes. So the only- Also only a noise buffer as well, just yeah, I. And, and I okay, go ahead. From, but that's fine. That's that was the, our reasoning behind it, sir. Is there two? Is that a two-family unit or three-family? It's a two-family. So okay. I upstairs would, and downstairs. No, it's split right down the middle. So um, my wife and I live on one side, so we have access to half of the basement and half of the top floor, okay. and then my sister and brother-in-law and me okay. have access to the other side. Okay. I think that's all I got at the moment for questions for you. John, are you guys? Yeah, I got some th things that I need clarified. And, uh, and first of all, I hope you realize that we have to go by what's been given oh, yeah, us no, and what it appears. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, no, no, I and my first question is this is not considered a residence, is what you said cannot be but yet on the plans they submitted it's listed as a residence a second residence future residence that's my first problem. I can't even read it this is right here on your hand drawn drawings yep. future residence proposed new residence an existing seven inch thick concrete pad yep. well again again I have I have to go it by is. by what I you submitted. Agree that it does indeed say proposed new residence. Okay. I'll admit that I did not catch that. Now, um, but it was I'm not I'm not looking for for excuses. I'm just bringing up some things that's going to lead up to my questions. I didn't write that. That's my those are again. I don't care who wrote it. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference. It's it. the fact it's just, that it was. Why do you have to be so angry? I'm not being angry. I'm explaining it. I'm explaining. Okay. You know, you're trying to make excuses. I'm not looking for excuses. I'm just saying this was submitted to us. This is what it says. This is why we have to make our decisions from. We can ask for clarifications, but this is official document. It goes into the records. Okay. All right, now, two-story building? Yes, sir. Okay, second floor, full second floor? Okay, what load bearing and everything as what is, so now we're actually looking at a 6,000 square foot facility. facility. That's a huge amount of facility uh, that has the potential, you're already saying, first I've heard a pool house, a storage area. Right. So Water and my question is, when you go get your occupancy permit, what is it going to be for? What type of building is it going to be for? So our ultimate plan was to make the bottom half area just a pool house hangout area with part of it being storage. And then the top area, my brother-in-law um, does film work and stuff like that. And he was going to use, so we would have the pool house, the two top part, top part and the bottom part, kind of the, the pool house area. And then the part above the storage area, if he needed an office, that was going to be an office area that he could store his 
film equipment, if he needed to film, he's got green screens, does all that type of stuff to use that section as a, as a um, work area if he needed it. All right, let's, let's move on the way it's, it was presented. I'm a little confused. All through, and it was stressed in, in the staff's report and everything, that it was a solar array, a solar array, a solar array. Right. And then I look down there, we have a building with 6,000 square foot of, of space in it with a solar array on the top of it. So are we dealing that it's a solar array or do we deal with it as a building with solar panels on it? And it's critical because if it's a solar array, then you don't need that big of a building because you could cut all the rest of it off and just build the part that you need for the solar panels. You see, you see the difference, you know, I, I commend the use of solar panels, I really do, but I do not want to be it presented as this is such a big thing that we ought to jump on the bandwagon for to get a 6,000 square foot building put in on a, and, and that I, that's the issues I, I, I have and I need, I need to, to understand. So. Our main thing was that we wanted solar power, enough to power both. And like Fred said, that when he came out, we weren't going to get enough light on the house to to power both without taking down trees that, more trees than we've already lost. Because we already had to take down eight or so that were in danger of the house okay. and the product. That, so, that. so we figured if, and we have this, we have this concrete pad already poured, if we can build a facility that will provide us enough solar power to power both houses and potentially a pool, why not build the, the solar all at once and, and then use it? Okay, and, and, I, and I appreciate right. and I understand what you're saying about the trees and the location. Can you bring up the, the rendering for me again, please? Now, instead of having to take 50 feet, why couldn't you, put, if your main concern is the solar array, have enough room for the solar panels. Cut off the building right below where the solar panel is. How much? How much do you uh, eliminate? A third. A third. Yeah. Are you talking about on the end? Right. How much? A third. How how long right. is the solar panel itself? Cut down from here. Right. So, so that's well. That's the thing. If we have that whole concrete pad that there was already. A facility or it was going to be a facility on there why wouldn't we be able to just go ahead and continue because you're asking for a variance I, I that goes 3,000 okay. square foot to 6,000 okay. square foot that's why and you're and you're only allowed you're only allowed without a without a variance 900 right, square feet right. I, and, and prior to this prior to coming to this I did not realize that I was not aware of that whole thing. but but do you you, under, you understand what I'm saying I, I is it it's being pushed solar array, solar array, solar array, fine. If we're building a solar array, let's build a solar array. If we're building a building with a solar panel on it, then let's present it that way. Okay. And uh, uh, you're asking for a response uh, if you wanted to make that statement. Uh, I will say that in my staff report, I made it clear that because we don't have language to talk about solar arrays, that we do have to treat this like it is any other extension of scripture. Um, it's written in my staff report that it has solar panels because I feel like that's a present factor. Um, but yeah, in the end, it needs to be treated like any other extension of scripture moving forward. And the fact that it's not a 3,000 square foot structure, it's a 6,000 square foot. I, I agree with you in terms of what the zoning resolution measures it measures the the footprint the footprint so the footprint. so it's an it's so a, he could have put he, you're saying that he could have <laughs> put ass and put a three three-story building Ninety. which on that 33 foot he's, well he's limited in the zoning of 99 feet as well so he so. would be able to currently build it to 14 feet 14 yeah, yeah. less than half but anyway that the tree, the tree, back to the trees, put the picture back up of the trees. He talked about not wanting to use any part of the house because of the trees to the east of the house, okay? 
you've got a whole bunch of trees to the east of that barn that are going to that are going to totally block the sunlight because that barn's way down in a hole. <clears throat> it's going to totally block the sunlight until noon. Are you going to eliminate those trees to the east of your of your proposed barn? Um, to the east of the barn are not nearly as many trees because they have been taken. The tornado has cleared all, out that area. The main stand that we have remaining is along that house. Along the east side. Yes, along that east side. And then there's some along the um, west side along the, the cornfield in that area. But aren't the trees behind the barn sort of sparse too or not? Um, no, what, like in between the barn and the road? Well, no, I, I, what, what I'm trying to get at is, 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 there, is there some way to, to reduce the size of this building by maybe just removing a couple of trees? The trees that are right around the building are not very, they're not very tall, they're not very, they're not very big at all. In fact, most of them have just come down to it. Okay, okay, so, 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 uh, so south of the barn, the, the, if I heard it right, the 33 foot tall building was needed and the solar array to be up at the top half or top two thirds of the building to, to be able to see the sun because of the trees that were to the south of the building. Did I hear that right? I'm going off of what my designer looked at as far as the height. I don't, I don't okay. know. Okay. It's not just to the south, it's to the west and to the east. I mean, if you're trying to get full exposure from the morning all the way through to the evening. And you know, I, I just, if so I'm at 33 to, feet of, 33 feet up, you're going to be able, you're not going to be shaded on, on the east and west side of the barn, a good part of the day? No. On the east and west side of the barn? No. Because of the trees? They're, they're, the you solar know, rays above the trees? Be shaded, and I said, no, it's not going to be shaded. I don't, if it's not going to be shaded. That's why I designed it. So the trees are shorter? Are the trees shorter on the east and west side of that proposed barn? No. So how's it not going to be shaded? Is what I'm trying what I'm trying to say. Because the panels are up high enough, and it's, they're far enough back from the trees. Let me understand this. You got the barn. You got trees planted here, natural trees. This is the east. The sun's coming up over here, shining through the trees, trying to get to the building. These trees are taller than 33 feet. All these trees aren't an issue. Here and over so, here. Sir. I don't believe so, sir. But they are an issue on the south side. Back here. I guess he's not going to answer that. Are the trees behind the barn the only issue? Sir, I, I don't know because I didn't do the drawings. I, I assumed that what he had drawn was what was necessary as far as the height and to get enough sun based off of his experience with what he said, as far as the sun. So I, 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 I knew if I felt sure how much sun is going to have to. Maybe you should get in the solar business. You know it all. Can you have, can he can you ask him to leave or be removed or no the gentleman gentleman I, this isn't this is this unnecessary is, yeah no this isn't this isn't uh, this, this is, isn't getting anywhere this is a question and answer every one of these guys has questions questions okay and you're you're handling them just fine I I understand where you're coming from I just have some questions about the trees trying to figure it figure it out and it, is there some way to right. to satisfy the other people and get the building a little lower okay, okay. Let's move on to other yeah. questions yeah yeah, yeah. 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 just Go what's ahead. your lot size uh five acres it is exactly five acres uh it's like 5.1 acre. I so think you got four hundred thousand square feet yes, sir. yeah four hundred thousand square feet and your ask for is three thousand square foot barn okay i i came in here and i got a acre and a half i got seventy two thousand square feet and got 2,300 square foot of, of barn. Mm -hmm. So you're asking for 700 square feet more than I did for two and a half times the more lot. Reach. So yeah. personally, I don't care. 3,000 square feet is not outrageous. Yeah. Okay. 
especially if you have equipment. Yes, yeah. And we, yeah. But I don't know what equipment you have. Yeah, we have. Doesn't equipment. matter. But I know, but <laughs> I can ask that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. like I said before, we, we were just looking to, we weren't trying to build something ostentatious, something that was going to be outrageous. All we were looking okay. to do was okay. utilize as much solar power as we could to power all of the, the all of the energy we were going to okay. use on our property. That's so, that was our main. So goal. a comment, just one comment, because yes, I read the same thing. It said proposed new residence, right. which I, I, which got us all confused because okay. it's an A one with a duplex, right. and you're asking to put more residence on it, right. and no. we just got. Right. No, what no, is not, this? It, so we need to resubmit to change that. We, we so will, that's, uh, why, we yeah, we're that's not, why. That's why. Living there, we're not going to have anybody living there. It's no, we we can address that with a with a condition. Condition, okay. but yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, I that's my. No, when I read it, no, that's the only have, thing I really. No, we have I don't know what I'm doing. Now, thirty three feet. Mine is what? Mine's twenty three feet high. So you're asking for 10 more foot than my barn, and you're down eight foot. So you're asking for foot, two, two foot more. <laughs> so we did, did. What did we approve uh, a few months ago? What's his name? Came. He's got a 12, 12 pitch, and he asked for a, oh, yeah. a barn. Yeah. It was eight what, right there on that new plat there. That new plat. How high would that be? 20. No higher than his house. 20, but it, I mean. I think 20, it was 22. 22. 22. I think it was 22. Yeah. So we're about 11 feet more. Right. So we, yeah. I'm sorry, we haven't asked if anybody wants to speak again. So no, mean, no, we will. Then we will. No, I was going to say, we, question. we end up. Okay, I'll just, yeah. yeah. So I, I got five acres. Mm -hmm. It is not another residence. No. 3,000 square foot you're asking for with, and the height. Is variance it? really is coming because of the solar array. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The size variance is becoming because you. Because the, it's, it's, it's a pad the, that exists. Exactly. Thank you. That's already there that we can use. Thank you. Could could I, know, I won't get an answer, but I'll ask it. Could a building be made any shorter? Um, is that a possibility? By yeah. by moving the solar panels down on the building a little bit, getting rid of a couple of solar lights. And solar. Um, what do you call those things? Solar windows or oh, skylights? Skylights. skylights. Yes. So I was looking forward. Um, you know, the heartache is the, I think is the, is the 33 I mean, feet. One way to reduce the height would be to change it from a 25 degree angle to a 20 degree angle. What efficiency does it you, you lose when that happens? It's, it would be, uh, I mean, solar arrays get put in on rooftops, flat roofs at a, 10 degree angle and you know they still perform you know pretty well I mean you lose some it's not optimal so you're losing maybe a, you know a couple percent um, over the year so and that would be in going the summer from months it actually performs better in the winter months it doesn't perform as well because you know it's trying to hit at a nine degree right. angle of incidence Any questions? Nope. Nothing? I'm good. Okay. Thank you for your part. No problem. No problem. Are you wish to speak for or against? Yep. Yep. Please do. Where that the statement I am about to make before Judy Creek Township Board of Board of Appeals are the truth to the best of my knowledge. Thank you. I'm all for it. I was next door. I was next door to Joe Gilbert that had the other building there that was uh, destroyed by a large tree falling on it. <laughs> and it was a metal building, it wasn't a coal building. Oh, okay. And Brad and Jennifer Shea were there, and they were going to build the barn back. Another one that had the solar poles and the poles put in, 
and the contractor ran off with the money. Ah. <laughs> How's your how's your accessory building working out? <laughs> I laid the foundation for it. <laughs> the beautiful building. Yeah. 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 All righty. My wife told me if you're going to build a barn out there, you're going to have to put a second story on it. Right. So my son could have band practice. <laughs> yeah. My son got run over and left for dead. Oh. Oh. Wish he died. But oh. Yeah. Hmm. I filled it up with motorcycle parts. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't see any problem with this. No, most of the time, you know, we can do the middle of the barn back there. Mm -hmm. Now, Joe had the old barn painted blue, and it was not very conspicuous. Somebody mentioned if it was painted pink, well, that would be conspicuous. <laughs> yeah, we can't. I'm sure, man, it's not going to paint pink. Okay. So how tall is your, your barn? That's uh, about two foot taller than a house. It's about 20, I would say not more than 20, 28, 28. 28 feet to the very peak. Okay, so he's, his if, was if, if five that, foot different. Probably okay. I had to get variances because the barn's supposed to be behind the house. Yep. Well, there's a ditch down there and my leach field's down there. I couldn't build on top of that. So I got a couple of variances. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, not hearing any other people, or not seeing any other people right. here for testimony, so we're going to close the public portion, and we're going to deliberate amongst us. Well, I'll go first. <laughs> okay. It looks right now. Yeah. The <coughs> I fully understand why is the height. Yeah. Know, and. As Max had, had put out, we're entering new territory because of the fact it's for a solo array, solo panel, and there's really not much been addressed in the county, let alone the township, on how to handle that. I fully understand that. That being said, I still uh, it is troubled by what's the real usage that we're looking for the building. You know, if it's just a solar array, it does not have to have that big of a footprint. Just because the concrete pad is that big, I don't buy, I don't care. You know, we're looking at what is really truly needed, what's the minimal space that is needed. Right. And we've heard, okay, yeah, it's two story. Rather you want to argue we can only go for the three thousand footprint or not, that's still six thousand square foot of space that they're gonna use. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at maybe putting an office on the second floor. Right. All right. Now, does that open up another thing that we would have to worry about in the future about commercial use? Who knows? We don't need to discuss that. It would be pretty hard to open an office in there that you don't have plumbing. They have plumbing. They got water. They got electric. How hard would it be to put their septic system in? Um, I don't know. I don't know. See. I think so, they said they're doing it in phases, so the first one is not with it but in so the future. We, yeah. it, it's hard for us to make decisions on future phases, but yeah. when you take a look at, and this is why I said it was critical, that we have to take a look at what has been given to us. The rendering definitely shows the ability to occupy this for more than a storage facility. Yes. I agree. So. That makes it critical that they're really, the, it's the critical thing, the size of the building for usage. And then they're just gonna put the solar panels on it there, or it's the critical thing with the solar panels, then we can say, you don't need that big of a building. Right. Agreed. 
and, and at this stage, I don't know which way, which, you know, if I was going to, to m make a, a recommendation to vote on, I don't know which way it would go, because I could see it both ways. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I, I just totally confused with the way it was, was presented to us. So you're saying make that money? Cut it off right here. Yeah. If if the solar array is the most important thing, I could cut it off here. They still have storage area. Right. What do you want to call it? And it's still two story. What do you want to call the size? Uh, whatever the, Is that the two thirds. What? What? No, they could give us the the no, yeah. the length. This this measurement from here to here, add a little bit for an overhang. And you know, instead of. 50 feet, could it be 30 feet and handle that? And 30 by 60. Is, is he open for, the, the, is the, he interested in making it smaller? Well. Is that a possibility or not? Uh, preferably no, because of we're, I, well, I mean, because <laughs> we're, at that point we're losing part of the pool house area that we would use to, like, as a pool house and we're, when you're doing that. If that's if that's what it would take in order to be able to build the structure and get the get the solar array, then we would yeah we would just how how that. big of a pool house do you need? I it, I don't a know. pool. I, it's, my, it's whatever my wife wants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is a pool. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> a pool a pool house is that just for changing clothes and because you I would just like there'd be like a hangout area like we have some couches and it's just like to watch a football game and you jump in the pool like it's just a you you still you still have a thirty by sixty right. structure. Right. But that you're chopping it off right next to the pool where now we're losing that front end area right next to the pool area. It's but in like that's what I'm saying. I'm preferably no, but if that's what it would take, we would just cut that off. Was my concern. And what what is the cylindrical thing? Is that a just a fake silo or what is it? Get, well, rain collector you got to anything? reuse water to reclaim water. Well, we're, we're so is it a to tower? Is it going to be a, it somewhat of a tank or? Yeah, 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 yeah just a clay floor. It, well, we're trying to, to be as green as possible, so we would use that for whatever gardening or whatever. Other they won't have anything in it in the winter time. Or we can put a conditional use. I, I'm, I'm thinking of making it black. Yeah, get rid of the tank for the sun and. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have water. It's going to collect water. I mean, I'm not that familiar with using hand barrels, so I, so I couldn't tell you what, what you do with it in the winter or what you don't. But you drain well, it. I mean, I think it would yeah. freeze, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it freeze in the wintertime? <laughs> yes, it did. Well, it depends if it's black. Be, be, being the, o being the owner of oh, rain cool. barrels, yeah. you you drain them in the wintertime. <laughs> <laughs> okay? That's so all there is to it. <laughs> <laughs> With as much water as that roof is going to shed, I just thought, why not? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's understandable. No, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good. Did, did you want to add anything to the discussion? I mean, I just, I'm inclined to allow it only because I like the idea of the solar. But I also don't, it, you're right, they're, they're asking in the way for two different things. Yeah. And I don't like that. Right. And then when you point out the form saying the residence, you said we could, somebody said up here that we could fix that with a condition, but yeah, I mean, to Then me, it has to be enforced. Right, but then to <laughs> me, I'm thinking, like, if it was me and I was building it, man, I'd go stick the in-laws over yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> you know? <Right. laughs> I guess it's a nice place, well, I, I and could, you know, I, I mean, if somebody gets sick, residence, I, I would put, I'd be like, hey, you got your own yeah. place, yeah. but I'm right here. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, that yeah. seems yeah. to be a problem. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely right now. Can we condition it? be a lot of storage for my brother-in-law's yeah, yeah, but once it's can we out. condition? Right. Can we condition it to, to that it can't be hooked up to sewer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, how do you how do you enforce that? You can. Right. Huh? And and how if the there's a lot of concerns if, if here. Then if the peep, if, if the health department comes up, it says as part of because it's going to have people there occupying it that as part of their requirement is to have a uh, 
bathroom system in there, they, right. they're going to trump us. Yep. They're not, but they're not going to go get an occupancy permit and all that. They're not going to do all that. They're supposed to. This is this is an agricultural building. Okay. See that this is where we get in that big gray area again. It's A1 zoning. It's an agricultural building, but it's got six foot sliding glass doors on it. It's got solar array on it. It's got it's got water, it's got electric, it's going to be insulated. I mean, it, it's a damn residence. It's not, it's not an accessory structure. Well, it's and, not a... I, I, and I'm glad you brought, you brought up the insulation part of it because that is going to be an elevated storage area because they have admitted that they plan to use the solar array power as part of it for this building. Yeah, so they're all electric. So if they're going to put heat in it, they're sure going to insulate it. All right. energy part of the solar but I the other I mean, part I, with the building it makes is concerning hmm. I wish there was a way that we could have alternative designs I mean we we, we give uh, we give variances for pool barns okay mm -hmm. but they're not two story no no okay so we're, we're looking at just the footprint of the building and we give a variance for that footprint of the building this is a variance for a two-story building. This is a variance for 6,000 square feet on an A1 zone piece of property. Yeah. Five acres, 100 acres, whatever. Exactly, exactly. Now, I, I have a question. How did that, how did a duplex ever get built? Have any idea? Sure, have. In A1 zoning? Um, so, I have a feeling that was built as a single family house. I believe, actually, I, I could be wrong, but I do believe A1 does allow multi family. Uh, oh, well, wow. you get multi families, there too, man. By the design of that house, it was do a duplex all the time. So you had two but separate fireplaces. Arguably, I mean, there's, uh, there's no way. I'm just throwing it out there. It's got to be one of the very few duplexes on you an A1 have zoning. A duplex right? on an A1. If you're, you're if you're remodeling a very big old farmhouse, this was not a remodel of an old farmhouse. Yeah, I mean, not being here when that permit were either issued or when the renovations. Took right, I was just curious that the, they're they're not generally allowed or granted, right? Uh, That's correct. You typically the rule is you get one primary residence per. Parcel, but a duplex arguably is a single residence. It's a single structure. What you see, I mean, it's. I can tell you right now that the way I view it, having a duplex there doesn't make it legally non-conforming in any way. It's still a single home structure, and arguably the definition of a single family is. I mean, that's a dead end question. That's been talked about a lot. Um, is it really for us to determine? I mean, no, they were no big familiar with it, but even if they want, nope. who is it for us to say who is it? That's, I was I strictly, strictly asking, well, is that a permitted use yes, for A1 zoning? The way I see their current use, it is permitted in A1 for residential use. Okay, can we get back? One family dwelling. Are you calling that a one family dwelling? I am not going to try to make a determination about what is or is not a family use. Is kind of my point, and so if they are living together as a family unit in a single dwelling, sorry, go ahead, Joe. What, yeah, uh, hmm. gentleman that gave testimony has a comment. When that house was built, my wife's uncle Joe Gilbert lived on one side of him, his wife Sue, and his daughter and her children lived on the other side. It was a duplex from day one. Yeah. Can I ask hmm. a question at that time that you may or may not know? Was it only one mailing address or was it two mailing addresses? Two. two. Hmm. Uh, that answers the question and it was designed, designed as a duplex. Yes. yes. It was designed. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let, let me try to summarize where we have to go from here. 
Uh, the application has been uh, submitted and presented that was requesting variances based on height and size. We've heard testimony that uh, the main purpose is for the solar array, to house the solar array. During the testimony, uh, there were several uh, concerns about what the remaining part of the structure is going to be beyond the solar array. Tell me when I get off course, okay? If we are going to act upon the submitted variance, we have to limit ourselves to those two things, the height and the footprint. And if there are concerns with the other uses or intent uses, they can be um, addressed as conditions or we can just reject it completely and state that this is an improper application, that it doesn't really portray what they're asking the variance for. That's where we're at. Hey, Max, uh, Article 16, A1 Agricultural District. I just happened to notice 16.06, building height regulations. No structure shall exceed two and a half stories or 35 feet in height. That's, that's the what? Huh? 33 feet. So why, why do we need <laughs> a variance? Okay, no. because it's an accessory structure and, a, and, 16, a, and the 18.5 okay. uh, five is what says that an accessory structure cannot exceed 14. Okay. Right. Oh. So, so this would be more of a... It's the primary not for residence, yes. Oh, okay. It's not for it agricultural also, use. The way it reads, right. it would hit any building there as well. So let's say he wanted to make this 36 feet, he'd be asking for a variance from 18.05, 4 and 5, and also that section, but since under 35, he's not okay. asking for a variance. Wow. This makes it more interesting. <laughs> And I think you're dead right on what your explanations were. I guess the question is, is, is how do we approach it? How, where's the majority of the board feel that we should go? Well, the, the very first one is that, uh, do we believe that this was a mistake, that it was labeled as a new residence? I think so. Okay. So that, that becomes... I mean, we, we take that off the table then. Okay. We just, we just wanted to clarify it. That's why we brought it up. You don't want At least it shows make sure it is it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Shows not, it way. Yeah, yeah, no, the conditions. Shows the way you look at things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to. Okay. Okay. So if, if we think that the height of the structure is acceptable based upon the size of the property and it's, it's, uh, elevation and all this uh, and we believe that he needs 30 by 60 amount of solar panels to generate the needed 37 kV uh, do we want to limit the structure just to support the solar panels or do we want to go ahead and uh, and let the height is not the problem it's the size of the structure itself. It's not the minimum variance request needed to, to accomplish what they're after. Why do you say the height's not the problem? They're in here for a height variance? No, he says if the if height. The height. If, oh, the oh. height. If, if the if height, the height is, is, is not a problem. It's not a oh, problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And that, I think that's where we, we have to make a decision on which way we want to go. Do we say, We'll give him, grant him the variance of the minimal amount, which is what it states that we're supposed to go on a minimal amount for what they need. Okay. Minimal amount uh, is exactly 60 by 30. Right. Well, How based on their rendering. Based on their rendering. Based on their rendering, it's more like 60 by 35 or 40. 
No, I'm not going to argue 10, 10, 5, 10 feet. I'm just okay. saying it doesn't have to be 50 feet. Correct. All right. And what does that give him? Gives him the minimal size for all of the solar panels that he needs, plus it gives them a minimal size for storage. So we're meeting the minimal requirements that we're supposed to address. If we give him the extra 20, 15, whatever extra feet, that's past the minimal that he needs. That goes to what the maximum that he wants. Now, do we go by well, I, that? I, I agree with you there. I, if he would have presented what he was going to put in that barn for that auxiliary structure, but he did not. And so I agree with you there that it is probably not minimal that he proposed. So how do you condition that? That the... Uh, You're going to have to have more than one set of stairs when you go to the building regulation. Yeah. You're going to have to have two exits out of the upstairs. No, it's, no, it's unoccupied. It's an accessory building. Yeah, true. <laughs> The minute that makes it an office, it unoccupied. <laughs> but that's later <laughs> on. That's not right. Right, and we 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 gonna have that. Okay. See, this is what this mm. this is kind of what makes it so difficult. All of us sitting here looks at that rendering, and we know darn well that the upper area is going to be used for something other than storage. Mm -hmm. We know that in the future. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't normally store, you know, it's not attic space. Yeah. So, but we can't, we can't let that, let me phrase that, we shouldn't let that influence what we want to do. Most of the time, I wouldn't have an issue with that. Right now, I, I do have an issue with that. Mm, me too. We could, okay. Uh, this is just uh, talking aloud. Uh, we could say that the the square footage of the structure to support the solar panels will be limited to the active solar panel facing, the area of the active solar panel facing. About twenty percent. Well, you, but 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 then you've got to identify what size the solar panels are, so that they don't they don't decide. That's a thirty six kW. What? 36 kW maximum. That's what he said. So, solar. Mm -hmm. There would be a, a fixed width in uh, or uh, area of solar. Yeah, we don't know what that one. We don't know what the top to bottom measurement is. Exactly. Would we be able to get that measurement from someone who's built right there? Or would we have to pull that up and get a plan? We can kind of get a sense of what that area would be. I don't know. I'm not a computer with that. I could certainly follow up with that information. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That 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 might not be the scale, though. Right. No, that's yeah. I and I, I I understand, but we've got an unknown. So it would be very difficult for us. Right now, we're guessing the 30, 35 feet. I just kind of the proportion that we got there, but we really don't know what it is. We, if we're going to cut off part of the building as a condition, we want to make sure we don't make it too short that he can't get what he wants to, but we don't need it making it too much longer. Do we have enough information uh, at this time to make that decision, or do we want to, or table. can we table? We can table, we can table. Until we get the inf information for us to take a look at. Right, right. I can tell you the the solar panels themselves are 33.33 feet. So I don't know what the horizontal is, but at the angle, uh, the solar panel uh, distance is 33.33. So, so if we so agree, inches. if we could agree to a 60 by 35 foot structure, yeah, that that would give them more than enough for the overhang that they would need. At least it should to put gutter systems and everything on it. Yeah, yeah and reduces it by 15 uh, feet so you're, you're 
shrinking it down 33%. 15 to 60. 30 percent reduction. Yeah, 30 30 percent reduction. Yeah. Okay. And then, with the 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 I concern about that may be used as a habitable and st a structure somewhere down the road. Uh, we could put the condition on it that it will, well, we, it would not be used for a permanent habitable structure and that there will be no sewer. You, well, you could use an outhouse. That'd be about it. We could. Well, then the reason I'm saying that is you're down in the bottom of the hill there and putting in a leach field and septic system has to be approved by the health department. Instead of... They probably just add it to those leach fields you have now. Instead, it's inst uphill. Instead of... Yeah, they make... Uh, yeah, the leach field down mm -hmm. in Instead of putting basically no bath, no sewer in there, yeah. would it be better putting a condition, no overnight habitation? How do you enforce it? Uh, same way salvage and force. Yeah. <laughs> same way we force everything else. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, but at least it's there. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm just talking aloud. No, okay. And I think <laughs> okay. we're both looking at the same thing mm -hmm. and both have the same concern is, is we could put all of all the conditions we want to on there. The only one that we could really tell it's going to be enforced is to go by there and, and look and see if it's a, the size of the building is correct. Exactly. After, after that, yeah. <laughs> All bets are off. Yeah. 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 Right. And, and and that's what he intends to use it for right now. He's not going to live in it. But how about the next owner? Right. And the owner after that. Eventually, the damn thing will be a residence. Well, we'll, we'll just <laughs> say he has to retire there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're trying to avoid. Does anybody want to try to craft you know, something? Bathroom in the pool house. Or do you, nice. or do you, do you think we need more information? Do you want a table until you you know come up with some very specific answers or concepts? I I th I believe we could come up. Well, you got your with, measurement, thirty-three feet or whatever. With, with with something to work with. Okay. But I also think it would be in your. Uh, and I may be wrong, correct me if I am, may be in your favor to go ahead and table and give us the actual measurements and everything so we can sit down there and take a look to make sure we are indeed giving you what you, you need. Because if we, the minute we do the resolution and it passes, he can't come back in and, and want to make any changes. separate variance for but a conditional use or some other thing, but he would not be able to modify this variance that was given. And is there, is there a time uh, limit on the, the time? I know he has to wait a year if we, we don't approve it before yes, he can come back in. Now, if he wants to do another variance modification, is there a time limit on that? Not that I am aware of. Okay. I don't think so. I about whether or not it would be beneficial um, if we take out any time concerns which I don't know that there are with the coming of this season where a lot yeah, of the work's going to get done then I would agree that it would be more beneficial to you to table it take and I would ask the board to provide the direction to the applicant as to what exactly you are looking for understand and, uh, and that's, that's and then reasonable once that is provided some of the um, clarifications would be made in terms of the actual purpose of the structure, um, whether or not it was indeed the minimum variance possible. Um, so my, yeah, I would say that it would be advantageous for you to table just because, like they said, if they, they 
based on this drawing, say 35 feet, and we engineered it and find it needs to be 37, you have to move this up. Yep. So that would be my recommendation. Um, based on what I've heard, the only other recommendation I have is if you are able to give a rough estimate of what percent of space is going to be used for the various purposes you, just, you described, right? How much is going to storage? How much is going to be house? Like a, a floor size, yeah. perhaps? Might, might help them clarify. But that would be, and again, I'll let them speak for whatever they might want, but that's something that I've been thinking for. I'd love, to, I'd love a floor plan for this thing, and it would probably clear up a lot of our questions. The, the only thing I would request of you and the board members is we don't let it drag on. I mean, we would have to set it for n December as it stands if we board it correctly. Have a special? Yeah, exactly. We can set a special meeting. Um, yep. Okay. And, and the reason I'm saying <laughs> is that everybody here <laughs> recognizes pricing is just increasing, you know, daily. We don't want to sit down and drag it and all of a sudden add 10% to your cost. That's right. not that's not what we're, we just don't want to have to do that. Right. But we do need to make sure th that we get it right. If we table it, we'd have to, well, no, I believe if you make the motion, I don't have to do a public notice, so it could be, I mean, theoretically next Monday, right? I would recommend it with Thanksgiving week, uh, probably the week after would be the earliest, but yeah, it's, that can be done. Yep. Yeah. I would like to make a motion. Uh, well, no, not yet. Not yet. Sorry. Back off. Uh, what specifically do we want them to look at to address the the actual footprint of the solar panels that would serve as the calculation for the footprint of the building? What size do they need? What they size do you, what do you truly that need? That are proposed. Yeah. Yeah. What size building? Right. And if you change the angle of it, that will come into play too. If you want to keep it at the angle that you have, you have to tell us that. But if that if, if changing an angle is only going to change it a foot or two, it's not. Mm. It's not. My, you know what I'm saying? My concern is they've had a structural engineer come out and do all this. What if the structural engineer can't tell us the redesign of the building in two weeks? No, no. You know what I mean? If they're cutting off a third of it, and yeah. they, he's not going to be able to get us plans, I don't think, in that amount of time. To no, we don't, need, we, don't, we don't need all this. No. Okay. We don't need any of this. Well, he's just going to have to redraw the, the whole plan set, uh, you know, just, you know, yeah. $6,000 know. $6, out the window because of 15 feet. A again, sir. Sure. Nobody's going to notice. I don't understand. No, it's not not it's noticing. It's the use of the property and what you're asking for. Yeah. That's 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 the rub here. If you came in and said we want to put in a second residence, and this is what we're going to do, and oh by the way, we're going to use solar panels on top, that's a whole different application. That's a whole different application. No, I'm just making a point that the, the engineer has hand drawn that whole plan set, you know, and, 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 and talked about not wanting to waste money and cause costs. And, and I, I'm saying is I don't want to delay you anymore. Right. It is not our fault. No. Or I think that, it is. No. I mean, you're talking 15 feet. I'm I'm not going to get in get in no. a, a discussion with you, sir. The code is the code is what it is. 15 by 60. And if you yeah. 15 by 60, two story. Yeah, you know we could be, play hard nose if that's what you're accusing us of and saying no, 900 we're, feet. We're, we're, we're not. And we're, we're not. We're, we're not making any insinuations or we're not accusing anybody here. Okay, what we want to do is make sure that when they walk away, if we continue this hearing, we need them to know what they have to provide for us to make a, a decision. And, and I agree 100%. Okay, do you guys agree that we don't need these detailed drawings? No. No. We don't need detailed drawings of the of all the loads and stress loads and snow loads and all that stuff. We don't need we don't need these. No. Okay? No, we don't. We just need a rough hand sketch drawing of the footprint or the layout. 
And what is going to Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Right. Right? And what no. the height is going to be. We don't, need, the, we don't the, need to redo the all this. that you're asking for, if you want to keep it at the 33 feet, or if it's going to be something less because of changing the angle, or if it's going to be more. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. And what is the height of the first story there that's not identified? The blue part? What's the height 12 of your feet? 12 feet. 12 feet? Yeah. Wow. Daniel. So, to reiterate, what I heard was it would be the area of the solar panels. panels. Yeah. They would need to provide additionally a, a similar sketch to this one in the corner here, which is the plot plan, the lot, where the existing residence is and where the construction is going to go, which you mentioned. And then a rough sketch of um, something like this that showed the actual dimensions, including the height. So it would look weaker in the book. I don't know, is there any, yep. anything else that the board is requesting right now? Nope. Um, based on that, do you have a rough idea of um, when you'd be able to provide that kind of information so that we can think about it? And we still. Oh, I'm sorry. You want Abel? I definitely don't want to preempt you. Uh, but we we got into a whole thought process of. of 3,000 square feet or 6,000 square feet and what are you using and what's the minimum space you need so we have to actually understand what you need you know I, I, he said a garage he said a, a, a pool, house. pool house he said a, a, a place for photographer to do some stuff and and you know to us you know is that only need 3,000 square feet or 6,000 square feet, and you're asking for six, that's, it, I, I need some guesstimates, I guess, on what is the minimum, because we, we've, we got the details on the solar array, because what the size has to be to satisfy the duplex. Now, and this, the duplex and the, this. Yeah, and this, we've got that estimate, and but we don't have an estimate of what the minimum size square footage requirement is for this building other than we have a footprint of a, an existing pad and we're going to use it. So some details to understand why I'm giving you, you know, 900 plus whatever you want. Right. That, that's, I need some details to make you feel comfortable giving more square footage. And, and, and please understand, and I know you're having a hard time, the reason we're taking these steps, especially on this one, is the fact it's the first solar panel request that we have gotten within the township. So that's my question. I was going to ask is, you guys are setting a really kind of a difficult precedent to, as far as, you're going to probably see a lot more of these. Are you, are you I mean... Do you ask everybody to justify every square foot? Absolutely. Okay, that's I didn't know. We're, we're not we're not just picking on you because just, of that. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're, I'm just, when, just when, wondering like. These are the same questions that we oh, ask yeah, every yeah, applicant on every variance. When, no matter what they're doing, where they're building it, who they are, it doesn't matter. Yeah, th this is my first. Well, I understand. Meeting, I understand. So I no and, and you guys how, also like, stated that you didn't realize that this was a process that you had to go through. Right. So it's not like we're singling you out. Oh, no, no, no. I understand. Okay. And, and the, yeah, the, I'm just trying to, that's why I was going to ask you. The questions that we ask are. the precedent that's going to be set for we, all the solar. Because, solar right. That are going to come forward because you're probably going to. You're asking, you're, you got to you understand, you're asking for a tell them no. monumental <laughs> yeah. uh, variance for <laughs> size. Right. But, but you're going to start seeing a lot more of these if you're trying to power a 3600 or 36 kilowatt or power 24 kilowatt for a house like you're going to be seeing a lot more of these like but they can put it on a smaller building though right you know what i'm saying uh, that's what no no that's the heartache at the moment the is that we don't have that option because we're surrounded by trees and, and we, un and to and we understand and we understand that okay but we have certain guidelines that we must follow and the one is to take and, and give you a variance the minimal right. that we can allow mm -hmm. and for people when they come in uh, 
in most most of the auxiliary buildings are more pole barn shag and garage types setups uh, but we asked the same questions what are you going to use it for oh and i'm not upset i'm just yeah. curious about or not either right <laughs> Curious about the whole process as far as what's what's coming in the future, and if you guys are going to keep. I haven't heard come up yet the fact that it is a duplex. Like, isn't the fact that two families here? I mean, shouldn't it be can, taken into account? Like, nine hundred is set aside for one family. It's not. It it's not. Oh, it's no. not. No. It's not how it's no. read. It, it goes by the property. Yeah. It goes by the property. Uh, is aesthetics a concern at all? Like, with the minimum for aesthetics, kind of. No. Yeah. No. Not for not a variance just request. Have like a big chunk of, you know, no, no aesthetics. Yeah, no, not not for not for a variance request that you're asking for. It, it's aesthetics doesn't play into it. Yeah. We're not allowed to know it. Right. Yeah, we we can't you tell your wife that. <laughs> we can't dictate what it's to look like, what color it's going to be, or nothing. We I, I got my hands slapped for that on the yes, very first. Did. Yes, she did. On the bombers gym when the the attorney told us. Oh, yeah. You can't dictate I, I, what it's to look like, I what would, color it's going to be. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I would like to make a motion okay. that the, this hearing be continued to the first week in December. Please. Uh, yes. Right, it, we can call a special meeting. I so will we say that the 30th is, is already a special meeting for the trustees that our department has to uh, facilitate, so we cannot do it. That says November. Are you on the, not on the right month? Well, no, that's the first, the first of December. Yeah. I mean, this oh, week, okay, I'm is, sorry. Yeah, sorry. How about, how about the second then? I, yeah, that's the 30th is that zoning commission. And then the second is the first zoning commission meeting of the year. No. Uh, or, I'm sorry, of the... Well, I don't, I don't think they're talking about breaking ground anytime in the spring or... I would be happy to do it on the 3rd. I don't mind having that. I really don't um, because it is... I'd like to get this in front of you as soon as it's feasible. Would that be enough time for you to compile? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, so Friday? Third? Yeah, Friday the 3rd. Friday. Yeah, I suggest something. I don't suggest disagree business. May I suggest that we set the time of the meeting at 6 p.m.? That's fine. That's fine. Is yeah. that okay with the board? Can we get enough yays? Yeah. Sure. I, I appreciate that, board. Thank you. Sure. Um, so, I'm sorry. To mo your, your motion. I uh, would like to make a motion to continue this hearing to December 3rd at 6 p.m. Okay. I second it. Motion's been made, seconded. Yes. 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 Some minutes that were submitted for approval. That's great. Good evening, all. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Doing good. He had to have another surgery to release a bunch of scar tissue. Yeah, he. I'm worried about him. Oh well. Yeah, he. He's been through the mill. Never complains. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, looking at the minutes that were submitted for April 21st, 2021. As does anyone have uh, any comments, <laughs> remarks, corrections, yeah, better that, ideas? Is that this is yeah. That's yeah. that one. I did. Tell you what. 
Well, let's get this. Let's, yeah. Yeah, let's get this done. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay, let's get this done. Did you did you have any comments? I had no, no, no. On the first set? No, 21st, no. Yeah, I didn't either. No, I didn't either. I don't think so. I, 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 I'm fine with them. Okay. No All right, do I hear a motion to approve as submitted? I make a motion to approve as submitted. I second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The, there's a second set of minutes dated October 20th, 2021. Uh, and MM is you? Is that? It should be SM. MM, SM. Sometimes it's Mr. Okay, McConnell. And then sometimes it's MM. Oh. Sometimes it's Sam. It should always be Mr. McConnell. Okay. And uh, I, I went through it. So and you got a few. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I got some pen marks. Pen you marks. Know, throughout it. it. Some of it's just typos. You know, okay. That are, that are of no right. consequence. On the second one, yeah. Yeah, there were there were, uh, and, and and you know to finish the uh, <laughs> Sam association. I think the minutes should uh, have parentheses and put Max after every place Sam was mentioned. Okay. Yeah. Got a new name tag. Yeah. So I, I know. I know. I know. And, and yeah. the, there were just like a couple that. other places that, uh, you know, th like I said, there were some typos, but and that's a th very minor hmm. type of thing. Uh, part of the testimony by Leonard and myself, uh, I think you caught it accurately because we rambled, but they don't make for complete whole sentences to, of what the thought was. And I had some suggestions that you can take or leave because you're the <laughs> one that listens to the record and you understand what was being said because there were some places that uh, in fact uh, Max was talking that the sentence just stopped it just uh, well when it could be zoned clearly and and there was nothing so if if it's nothing if it doesn't add to the testimony you probably shouldn't put it in it you probably should just eliminate it. Where, and then, uh, do you have reference pages? Or I'm going to give this to you. Okay. okay, I'm just going to give this to you. So, And that was the only real critique I had is that you got to start page numbering these things. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my strongest critique, okay? <laughs> I know. No, I have no. I have no problem. That's why. That's why we review the minutes. Yeah. We have yeah. no issue with yeah. Yeah. a few little grammatical changes or this or that. But yeah. and I hope you don't take offense to it. No. And if you could make us sound a lot more intelligent than what <laughs> yeah. we are, I would really it. appreciate that. <laughs> don't make, yeah, I second. Don't make, it sound, don't make it sound like we're rambling on. <laughs> Okay. Or that we're uh, mad. So. I, I, I would like to make a motion to accept the, mi uh, the minutes uh, with uh, some modifications based upon uh, as submitted. text as, as uh, submitted to the secretary. Okay. Yeah, I second that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I wasn't here. Oh, oh, okay. I wasn't here either. Okay, okay. do a roll. Do a roll. <laughs> yeah. So who will be voting on this motion? Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Martinez? Yes. Yep. Mr. Humphrey? Yep. And Mr. Hammond? Yes. Okay. Motion passed. Barely. Okay. Um, I believe those are the two sets that have yeah. gone forward. So, Is that correct? Okay. So, we, we close the meeting, or do you have something else? I'll make a motion. I was just going to ask. Be, 
because you know, other business this is the, always the last yeah. thing. Do we have other business? I do have some other business this time. I actually have two pieces that I will just really quickly. The first, the Zoning Commission has for several months now been meeting at 6 p.m. Um, it makes a huge difference for our staff and uh, for applicants and things like that. I know I've got about a 35 minute drive home and I, I know it doesn't sound like much, but that hour and a half difference. Oh, I have no you, problem. So I would love I'm to do it earlier. asking for these meetings to be scheduled at 6 p.m. from here on out if that works for everyone's schedule. And along with that, then you can bring dinner. <laughs> but don't pay me enough. Uh, <laughs> I tried anyway. <laughs> Six o'clock works for me. I, I'm I fine with that. I just, I, I'll, I'll, I, I, for me, I go to bed early, but yeah. I'm just worried about the applicants, whether they can make 6 p.m. And so uh, can you be flexible with them oh, yeah. and we can change? But 6 p.m. to me is fine. But if the applicant can't make yeah. 6 p.m., oh, absolutely. then I think it's and, very uh, good. What we could do okay. in that case, let's say I'm speaking with the applicant, I let them know it would be at this time on this date. They say, geez, I don't get out of work until 6. Right. I need it to be at 6.30. We'll just put that as the time in the public hearing. Okay. Because we're switching the time, we're going to do other no business first. set in perpetuity like it used to be. Um, so each public notice will have to include the time of the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. That'd be fine. So we sure. Yeah, I don't know how it ever got to be seven thirty, but we accept. It always was. And always. May I have a, a just a formal motion to to move the standard time of the meeting to six, um, just so it's on the record. No. Okay. So I, <laughs> I make a motion to make the standard meeting time from this day present uh, to six p.m. unless otherwise noted to be changed. Second. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Yes.
and it may be a valid reason. I don't, but it should have already been installed and paid for way before. Right. Yeah, and you know, unfortunately, the minutes for that meeting are one of the many sets that are not approved because they were not, you know, they were done mm -hmm. in Larry's time or Steve's time. So I have not been able to go back and confirm. At this at this point, if he says, okay, yeah, I understand, and we're going to do it, so I really do. that's I all we can do. I do believe that he, his intent is to do it. I'll send you all that letter so you can kind of see what, what I'm talking about. Just check with him once a month or whatever and say, hey, where are we at? And actually, frankly, as part of my other, you know, the other half of my position, economic development, I periodically do check in with businesses anyways to see if there's anything we can do, if they're expanding help with that so I will be checking in with them periodically if it becomes a uh, concern again just bring it up to me and I, I think letting him know hey the board is concerned about this issue here's why allow him to you know okay I see that I want to address it work with me and I, I think that's a fair ask at this point. It's for the safety of his members. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and that's, that's his main members. And that's one of the things that's brought up. But I, I'm really interested to see as he start developing the property because he had, had a, a pretty robust plan for what he wanted to do there and part of the garden and the stuff on the mm -hmm. other side. The big track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting mm -hmm. to see if he's, if he's able to get that accomplished over the next couple of years. It'll really make it look, that look nice if he's able to do it. And I, you know, talking with him, I, I get the sense that he really, you know, he wants it to be this, you know, nice, aesthetically pleasing. He, he really thinks of it as a, you know, these CrossFit people, it's like a lifestyle to them. I'm not, I don't get it. But <laughs> 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 um, but like they really have this community there, yeah. from what I can tell visiting. And oh yeah. I truly. I do think that's that the whole idea. He of wants it. to be a good member of the community. Yeah, I get that sense from talking to him. So I'll send you guys that letter tomorrow uh, when I get back to the office. Hey, and, and pass it on. He's done a beautiful job when he built the building. Yeah, he put up a nice looking building. He didn't have to do all that fancy stuff on the front that he did. I was tickled to death. After got flown over. Yeah. If if uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah yeah yeah, those trusses were pretty bad. Oh yeah. man yeah. yeah. Remember uh, that? Oh, yeah. If Nathaniel's Grove has to widen that road, the, uh, the county engineer probably already has that. It's my understanding that they I don't they, have it engineered at the moment. That I thought they already did all the road improvement yeah. right there. I you would think they would have by and now. If, and they if couldn't, they, they uh, their most recent, um, don't get me wrong, Nathaniel, you want to talk about people making excuses. <laughs> really? by the end of this year have it done in order to allow lots in certain sections to be recorded and sold. Wow. Is that and why they haven't been sold? Yeah. Oh. Now, they failed to meet that date from what I understand. I This is hearsay right yeah. now, so you got to understand that I haven't confirmed this, but it's my understanding that they failed to meet that date because they could not secure an asphalt I couldn't se that. secure a contractor to lay the, the asphalt that was going to be transposed that. here. So yeah. I'm not trying to make excuses for they that. They just put asphalt down at 35. That's just yeah. why. Yeah, but they didn't secure that one either. That's why they're getting, they're, ba they're, they're essentially getting the around. an extension to that deadline to move that. They did a nice job yeah. on trade line. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't believe yeah. that those plans are mature enough that they could request them from the engineer's office yet and say, okay, this is exactly where the line's gonna be. Um, I truly don't believe that at this point. I can tell you that I plan to follow up on this because I know it's important to you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, I agree. It, you know, it's a bit of a safety concern. Right? Yeah. There's those people that forget it's, or they think it's dusk, so I don't need my lights on. I get you, there are yeah. definitely uh, reasons to have a pole light there, so. I just wanted to update you all on that. And now they have the LED ones, and they don't cost you anything to operate. No. Yeah. I mean, they're very bright. Mm -hmm. So. So um, I will continue to follow up with them. I will give you progress reports as applicable. Um, like I said, any further complaints, please post. 
and it requires very small wire. Okay. Those are my okay. new business or uh, whatever other business items. Uh, so thank you for this. Thank you. Hearing no other business, do I hear a motion for adjournment? I make a motion to adjourn. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.